So in this video I will be recording a small job of creating a new install consisting of five new poles and one existing one which has already been engineering picked from another project which has already been uh, sent to review, checked and approved by utility company. So the work starts from creating a pole, uh, the one of which the line consists of, uh, checking precisely the framing, the uh, position, the conductors used and the install uh, self-supporting fiber cable. So the line is being created from the pole and then you start, then we start from making everything look correct and precise. So this pole is V1 picked from existing project. You see it has already been engineered. Now the line has been created. And now the names are being filled in. The new part of the line is being connected to the existing pole. Okay, now all the poles are being checked once again to precisely match the class and height of the poles. Now the exact coordinates are being filled in from the database. And after that, the elevation will be set off. It is uh, being retrieved from uh, Google database. Okay, you cannot see much from the Google Street View. It gives you only a hint on the first existing one and the second new pole, and that's it. All the other surroundings are obscured by uh, vegetation. So I can only rely on field pictures taken during the field survey. Here I'm just checking where the taps are facing and where are they going to because uh, you cannot quite figure out it from the uh, uh, satellite map. Well, usually uh, everything, such things are clearly seen on the uh, Google map on Street View and uh, when such data is available it makes the work much easier and faster. Okay, I cannot rely on the lengths of the taps provided by the utility database, but but instead I have to sometimes guesstimate the lengths so they are not well exactly precise. Here I'm here I was setting the anchor. Uh, exact opposite direction from the tap so it so it would be like precisely 180 degrees opposite of the tap So yeah, uh, nearly half of the work consists of checking, double checking and triple checking on all the values.
This pro looks like a dead end. The fifth one. So uh, only a secondary triplex cable is heading to the very last pole of the line. And of course, just as always, the position of poles is heavily blundered in the utility uh, GIS database. Sometimes in uh, utility map it looks like opposite to what it is in reality. So the very, the very last pole is being, is being set up. Here I still decide to send the last span of fiber parallel to the secondary feeding cable. Later I will uh, make it run straight to the house. As the existing anchor leads are relatively short, I use guying with new down guys to the existing anchors. There's no place for new anchors to be installed. OK, I export the separate engineering files and the reports with, yeah, with manual naming. I don't know why, but my version of OCalc Pro Line Design does not name the output files uh, with a mask naming. I sent complaints to the manufacturer, but didn't hear anything back. Right here, I make a, a small plan view drawing like a little piece of manual work. Nothing really special, just a plan view drawing for the uh, utility company to take a sneak peek at it and uh, see what the install is about. In big projects, of course, all this work is automated and a lot of data is, is being exported and then imported into Visio and, uh, well, the work of connecting things one to each other is being automated, as well as naming. Also a package which should be sent to utility company for review. It also should have the uh, uh, field pictures, so I store them in a separate folder. The existing anchors are green and the new ones are red. We don't have red ones in this install. I decide to make the last two spans of fiber slack spans, so I pick the correct initial and resulting tension, final tension. Now I make the last span of fiber not running to the last pole, um, but going straight to the house instead.
checking once again for the anchor to be uh, in the exact right position just in the middle of the uh, angle uh, between two spans okay exporting that last two poles once again substituting the previous files now I think everything looks good so the project package for a typical install like that consists of the line design file the separate engineering files for each and every pole of the uh, report files PDFs a plan view drawing and a separate folder with uh, field pictures and yeah of course one have to make the spreadsheet with all the data concerning each and every pole this one I am doing like manually just to show how the work is being carried out of course well when dealing with a big project this thing is also automated but still you have to check double check and triple check all the numbers and values because it is very easy to blunder something Okay, the last thing is to fill in the make ready actions, fill, fill in the final pole loading percentage, percentage, and that's it. Make a zip archive and send it to utility company. Okay, the last thing to do is to shrink the files, make them occupy a little bit less space. And after that, everything should look fine. Don't know what... Why is it being made so slow? <laughs> 